Say goodbye to messy email threads and hello to Slack, the smarter way to communicate at work. Slack brings your team together in organized channels, making it easy to share updates, files, and ideas in real time. Whether you're working from the office or remotely, Slack keeps everyone connected, focused, and moving forward. So in this video, I will show you guys on how to use Slack. So without further ado, let us begin. Um, so in here, once you're in the Slack website, which is just slack.com, we can now start creating our account. So to create an account, just simply click on get started right here. And then from here, you can either continue with your email or just continue with your Google account or Apple account. For me, I'll just continue with my Google account since it's faster and easier to set up. And then after signing up, Slack is going to ask us to start creating our workspace. So just simply click on create a workspace right here. And then after that, it will now ask us what's the name of your company or team. So I'll just name it as Sample Co. There you go. Click on next. Afterwards, it will now ask us for a profile photo. So you can edit out your photo right here or change your photo. But I'll just skip it for now since it's optional. Afterwards, you can now input the emails right here for the team you want to add for your workspace. So just simply add their emails right here and then just separate them by commas just like this example right here. Keep in mind that invitations expire in 30 days and then you can always extend that deadline or what you can do is just simply copy this invite link right there and then just send them the invite link directly to any messaging channels that you guys are currently using right now. But for me, since I don't have a team, I'll just skip this step, skip this step again, and then there you go. Afterwards, it will now ask you, what's your team working on right now? So this could be anything like a project, a campaign, an event, or deal that you are trying to close. So as an example, um, this workspace will be focused on making YouTube videos. So I'll just make it as YouTube videos right there. Just click on next, and then there you go. And then it will ask you if you want to start with Slack Pro. But for me, I'll just skip it. I'll just click on start with the limited free version right here. And then there you go. We are now in our workspace. Okay, so in our workspace, we have some channels right here. So we have different kinds of channels right here that has been added when setting up our workspace. So in here, we have an all sample code channel right here. So this channel is basically about sharing announcements and updates about company news, upcoming events, or teammates who deserve some kudos. So you can uh, message right here in this channel about the updates within your company or anything about it. Next is we have social. Um, so in here, these are your other channels for work. So this one is just for fun. So in here, you can just simply chat with your team right here. So yeah, next is we have um, the YouTube video. So this one right here is the main channel. Um, so in here, in our main channel, we can now start setting up right here our channel. Um, so in here, you can invite your teammates, add a project brief, host weekly syncs, or huddles in Slack. So this is just like a call and where your team and you can communicate. And then from here, you can also add a project tracker. Um, so in here, let's just start off by adding a project brief. There you go. Just simply click on that template. And then there you go. It will now be added right here on the right side. And then here we are in our project brief. So you can now start editing out your project brief right here. So let's just add YouTube videos right there. And then from here, you can add your, your objectives. So just simply list out your objectives right here. So I'll just make the objectives as um, make videos, edit the videos, make thumbnails, and upload the videos. And there you go. Next is the target audience. So I'll just make it all. There you go. The timeline, you can set your timeline right here as well. So I'll just add TBA, which means just to be announced. And then from here is you have the team. So in here, you can add your team right here just by clicking on it. And then you can just add your team name right here. So just simply add the name of your teammates. So I'll just name this one as teammate, teammate one, or just add yourself. There you go. And then you can add your other team right here, which will just show up right here after you invite them. And then after they accept your invite. Next are some files. So in here, you can upload files right here to your project brief. And then you can also add a to-do list right here as well. So in here, for the to-do to list, let's just add some samples. So let's just add to-do list 
two right there. And then let's just add this as to do list three. And then let's just add this as to do list one. And then what you can also do is mention some people right here in where you want to assign this to do list for. So you can mention yourself or mention your other team just by typing at and then just simply typing their username. Next are links. So in here you can add different links right here for your project brief. So it can be a YouTube video link, a drive link, and some other links that you want to add. So yeah, so that's pretty much for the project brief. And at the bottom right here is so you can add additional um, sections right here in your project brief. So you can click on insert right here. So you can add a divider, a placeholder, a date, profile, workflow, callout, list, images, and files. You can also add emojis, upload files, add another checklist, add a table, and add different kinds of layouts. So feel free to customize out your project brief. Moving on, let's just go back to the YouTube's YouTube videos um, channel right here. And now let's just add a project tracker. So let's just click on add project tracker right there. Now let's just go to project tracker right here. And then here you go. We now have our project tracker. So in our project tracker, we can now add our tasks. So I'll just delete these tasks right here. So let's just delete these tasks, these pre-made tasks. So if you want to delete tasks, just simply um, click on the task, right click it, and then just simply click on delete item. There you go. And there you go. So let's just start by adding a new task. So let's just add, add item right there. Now let's just name that task as make YouTube video. There you go. Let's just add another task, edit YouTube video. There you go. Next, let's just add edit thumbnail. There you go. And then lastly, let's just add upload video. And then there you go. We have now added our tasks. And then you can change the status of your tasks right here. So in changing the status, you can change it to in progress. If you're doing it currently right now, not started. If you haven't started it, blocked. If you guys decided to cancel that task and then done. If you're now done doing that task. Next, we have priority. So in here, you can set the priority for all of your tasks right here. So just simply, um, you can set it here by stars. So three stars means that it is highest priority. Two stars means it is medium priority. And then one star it is low priority. So yeah, feel free to customize out the priority. Next is we have text description. So in here, you can add descriptions for your tasks right here. So for example, make a YouTube video on how to use slack something like that and then from here let's just add a description again that says edit video and then uh, this description will just say edit thumbnail and then last description will say upload the video on youtube there you go next is we have assignees so in here you can assign members right here or your team to specific tasks so if you want to assign members to a task, just simply click on assignee right here and then just simply type in the name or username of your members. So again, since I'm the only member, I'll just assign myself right here. But if you have more members, you will see your other members names right here. So yeah. So as an example, I'll just assign myself. Next is we have due dates. So here you can set due dates for these set tasks. So I'll just make this one as April 7, April 8, April 9, and then April 10. So there you go. And then next is you can add other fields right here. So you can add different kinds of fields like a text field, a number field, a select field, a date field, people, files, checkbox, email, and phone. So feel free to choose any of these fields right here. So as an example, I'll just simply add a files field right here. And then I will just say upload files here. And then simply click on save. And then there you go. So when we scroll right here to the right, as you can see, that we now have another field right here which will allow us to upload our files for our tasks. So let's say you're now done making the YouTube videos. You can upload the files right here so that the editor that will edit the videos can download the files. And then your editor can now um, upload the files right here once it's done editing. Same goes with the thumbnail and for uploading the YouTube video. And then again, let's just go back to status right here. So let's say um, you're now currently doing this task you can move it to in progress right there as the status so anyone everyone in your team will know that you're currently doing this tasks and then once you're done you, you can just simply set it to done and then your whole team will know that you're now done doing this task and then you can now proceed to the next task same goes with the other tasks right here 
And then if you decide to cancel a task, again, you, you can just simply select on blocked right there. So that will mean that you have now canceled the task. Next at the top right here, so we have all items. So here you have different kinds of views right here for tasks. So here you can change the task view to the status. So it will look like this. Next is tasks that are not been done, tasks that are done, tasks that are on different priorities, and then tasks that are assigned to you. Then you can also um, choose some tasks right here that are open, completed, and all of the tasks. So feel free to check out what kind of task view you want to use depending on which one that you're comfortable with. Then what you can also do is search up tasks right here. So next to that is you can search tasks right here. So if you have a lot, so if you have a lot of tasks right here in your project tracker, you can you can simply just search up tasks right here to your liking. So for example, I'll just search up for upload video and then that task will now show up. Next is we have this filter icon right here so you can filter out tasks as well. So you can filter them by assignees, due dates, priorities, and statuses and some other filter options right here. And then you can also change the layout to table or to a board view. And then at the right right here is you have more list actions. So in here you can add workflows, share this list, add to start, check the details, copy the link to the list, make a copy, download the CSV, open in a new window, view archived items, or just simply delete that list. So yep, and then there you go. So that's pretty much the basics on using um, Slack. And then you can also add additional sections right here, like a canvas, a list, a workflow, a bookmark, and add template to channel. And then you can also edit out some other tabs right here as well. So in here, you can check the about section of this channel right here. So you can change the name, add the topic, change the description, leave the channel. For the members, you can add people right here, tabs. So, you, so in here, you can choose um, anyone who can add, remove, and order tabs right here. And also manage the tabs. You can also add integrations right here like automations and apps. And then you can also change some other settings right here. So you can change the channel to private, start a huddle. So basically what the huddle does is you can communicate with your team right here. So this is just basically a call that you can make with your team if you guys are planning to have meetings. So if you want to do that, just simply click on huddle. And then there you go. You are now currently in a huddle. So in here, you can mute yourself, um, turn on video share your screen, send a reaction, invite people, and leave the huddle. So I'll just leave the huddle right now, and then there you go. Then going back, you can also change the channel to private, archive the channel for everyone, and then you can simply delete the channel. So yeah, so those are pretty much the basics on, you, on editing and using channels right here in Slack. Moving on, let's try to add um, channels or sections to our workspace. So to add channels or sections to your workspace, just simply click on Add Channels, and then you simply click on create a new channel. And then from here, um, you can start by adding a blank channel, a project starter kit, a help request process channel, and a lot more. So you can check out all of these templates right here. So for me, I'll just add a, a blank channel right here. I'll just click on next. And then you simply add the channel name. So I'll just name this as sample channel. And then you can set the visibility right here to public or private. So if it's public, anyone in this workspace can view this channel. And then if it's private, only specific people can view this channel or join by invitation. So for me, I'll just set it as public, click on create. And then there you go. So again, you can also add people right here to this channel, but I'll just skip this for now. And then there you go. We now have another channel right here. So again, you can edit out the details right here of your channel. So just simply click on this plus icon right here. You can edit the tabs of this channel, add a new um, tab right here. So you can add a canvas, a list, a workflow, and etc. So yeah, feel free to customize some channels that you have newly created. Next is when you click on channels right here, you can create a section. So you can create another section right here. So I'll just name this as section one. You can also um, add emojis to it. There you go, I'll just add that. And then there you go, we now have a new section. So under this section, you can create a channel as well. So I'll just click on blank channel again. And then I'll just name this as channel one. There you go, click on create. And then there you go, we now have a new channel under this new section. So yeah, at the bottom right here, so you have direct messages. So in here, you'll get to see all of the direct messages that people have sent to you within this workspace. And at the bottom is you have, is you have apps. So in this app section is this where you'll see all of the apps that are being used right now within your workspace. So currently is we have Slackbot. So this usually goes with any workspace that you create. So if you want to add additional applications, just simply click on add apps. 
And there you go. So from here, you can add other apps right here within your workspace. You can add apps like Google Drive, Google Calendar, Zoom, Trello, and a lot more. So feel free to choose on what kind of apps you want to use. So yep, and at, at the top right here is you can create messages. So if you want to send messages to a channel right here or to a direct message or to a bot, you can do so by writing it here. So for example, you can send messages to all of your channels right here as well. So there you go. Then you can just simply type in the message that you want to send right there. Then you can now send that message. Next is at the top left right here. Um, what you can do from here is invite people again to your workspace, upgrade your plan, um, change some preferences. You can also filter the sidebar, add some tools and settings, leave the channel, open a desktop app, sign in on mobile, or sign out. And then if you want to create an additional workspace, just simply go to this section right here, and then you, you can just simply add another workspace. Then you can create a new workspace right here. Or what you can also do is find other workspaces or sign in to another workspace. So yeah. And then at the left side right here is we have our DMs. So in here, you'll get to see all the, again the DMs that are being sent to you in Slack. And then next is we have activity. So in here, you'll get to see all the notifications that are being done within your workspace. And then under more right here, so you can create um, templates, automations, canvases, lists, files, channels, people, and external connections right here within Slack. And then after that, you are pretty much done. So yeah, that's pretty much it, the basics on how to use Slack. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech tips. That is all.